All right, you're looking for a way to speed up your blue G53. Make sure we're talking about the same phone. Very cool phone, two cameras on the back. If you still have the sticker, it says G53 on the back, blue logo here. Very, very cool phone. And the answer is yes, we can speed up our phone. Uh, it's going to feel complicated, but just follow the instructions, slow and easy, and I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to undo it if you don't like it, and then we'll compare it to the Blue View 4, and you'll be able to see that it actually does make your phone go faster. All right, let's get into it. So with your phone powered on, we're going to go to settings. Some people like to swipe twice at the battery. Some people like to swipe up once to bring up all of the apps, and usually in alphabetical order, as for settings. Inside settings, we're going to scroll to the very bottom, at about device inside about device we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to look for this one version make sure it says build number and custom build version touch that inside version you're going to see build number all we're going to do is touch build number seven times watch what happens one two three four five six you should be getting those messages seven you are now a developer that's exactly what we want that just means that we now have access to some of the deeper software inside the phone. The danger is if you start touching a lot of stuff, you might mess up your phone. So don't touch a lot of stuff. Just only touch these adjustments that only affect uh, the way that the phone runs. And we'll be really specific here in a second. Okay, so we've backed out of that. We've become a developer. Now, how do you get into the options? Okay, we'll go back to settings. If, you've, if you're out of settings, let's go back to settings. Now we're going to touch system. And you should see now inside system, you have developer options. Now we're going to touch developer options and make sure that it's highlighted on. It should be up by default. Now this is the place where you don't want to accidentally touch stuff. And if you accidentally touch something, just push cancel or hit the back arrow. That's how safe it is. Okay, we're going to scroll down a ways and we're going to look for a heading called drawing and what that does so there's networking what the drawing does is how the phone works and how it draws the software that we see on the phone and what we're going to do is we're going to change three settings to make it go faster drawing okay these are the settings we want inside drawing window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale by default they're one time so let's touch the first one and see what comes up some options with numbers. The bigger the number, the slower the phone makes the phone work. The smaller the number, the faster it is. I actually like it to animation. Some people say 0.5 and you'll, you'll see it, but you can really see it if you just turn the animation off. Turn the animation off. Let's go to the second one. Transition animation scale, same thing. We're going to turn the animation off. One more animator or duration scale, and we're going to turn that one off. Now, if you end up using your phone, you don't like how it works, all you do is you head back in here in the developer options, scroll down to drawing, look for these three with the word animation in them, touch them again, and change it back to 1x. That's super easy. Okay, we are done. We've changed the three, we've turned them off. Now I'm going to go back to the home button, and just to make sure, I'm going to put the phone in standby and bring the phone back on. And bring the phone back on. All right. Here we are. Now this phone, the uh, View 4 is a newer phone also. Same with this one. So you you will be able to see the difference. Now, a few times, uh, well, watch with your eyes right now. I want you to watch. When I bring up just the phone, bring the phone up. Do You saw how the animation of the phone came open. Now watch what happens when, with the animations off. Immediately turns on takes a little moment for the phone to load up. Now watch what happens when I back out of the phone. The animation is going to get small. Swipes down the screen. This one is just going to turn off immediately. Turns off. Let's do phone again just so you can see. Do it on your phone so you can see. See how this one kind of grows, does stuff. Now you can make a phone call. Your phone is going to feel crisper, snappier, and faster. Let's do messenger real quick. Messenger at the same time already ready for me and let's close messenger oh i didn't get it at the same time you see how that closes immediately it just blinks off let's do it one more time and close it one more time 
blinks off, takes a moment. Last example, let's just do camera. All right, let's do just while using this app. Okay, no, I don't allow. Yeah, all right. oh yeah, this is the one where you have to allow, uh, this is one of the things I don't like about the G53 is that you have to allow the camera to do whatever it tells you to do. We have to allow it. All right, is the camera on? Or is it not gonna let me do it? We'll find a different example. All right, let's do this. This is clear all. So if I want to clear all the apps that I've had open, clear all, clear all, blinks right off. This one takes a minute to do the animation. So your phone, if you make these changes on your blue G53, your phone, again, is going to be a crisper, snappier, and faster, and it just be one degree more enjoyable to work with, especially if you're a person who makes... A lot of videos, send texts, and makes a phone call. You're on your phone all the time. You want your phone to feel a little bit snappier. All right, thanks for watching. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Hey, and if you need help with anything else, um, please, yeah, please subscribe. All right, thanks so much. Enjoy your day.